Hi and welcome to this video tutorial of Eriza Studio and in this video we're going to look at how we can create layers inside an Unreal level. So let's go ahead and jump into our virtual uh, studio here. So what is a layer? A layer is a group of actors that create a graphic element that we can control individually inside our level. So in my project here I have two uh, video walls or one video wall and an AR object over here. And each of these uh, actors, I want to be able to take them to air and take them off air separately, individually from each other. So because we're focusing on layers here, I'm not going to create uh, very complicated graphics. I'm just going to have I put a dynamic uh, texture onto each of these uh, objects here, and I'm going to control them uh, from the outside. Okay, so let's start from the basics. Uh, I've added the texture to my actors and now I need to add the control components to each of them to allow me to change the texture from Eriza Studio. So on this act, I already have my control texture set up and I've named it Video Wall. And on my uh, AR element here, I have a control texture called AR element um, and I can go ahead and put my engine into play mode and jump into Eriza Studio. So we're going to go into the template manager and I'm going to import my uh, graphics here. So I go to uh, my project. This is my level. And if I add this now to my playlist, you'll see I have two objects here. I have the video wall and the AR element as one element. And this is what we want to do in this video. We want to separate these out into two separate elements. Okay. Before we go ahead and work on the layers, I'm just going to make sure that my control objects actually work and I'm able to change the texture. So let's go here and select an image of Boris Johnson and here McCroon, take in. Okay, so we can see that my textures have changed. So that part of my project is working. Okay, let's jump back into Unreal and hit stop. So just to keep things organized, I'm going to add an empty actor to my project and I'm going to name this uh, empty actor layers. Okay, so this is where I'm going to manage all my layers from. On this empty actor, I'm going to go to add component and I'm going to search for control layer. And I'm going to name the first one video wall. You can name them anything you want. This is just a, a way to keep things organized, having a good naming construct, uh, convention. So inside my uh, the control layer, I'm going to name the ID video wall, and I'm also going to give the title the same name. Okay. And in a minute, we're going to see what the in sequence and out sequence uh, and change elements do. But for now, let's just keep it simple and uh, name like uh, name our controls correctly and set up. Okay, so I'm now going to add another co uh, component, uh, the same again, control layer. And I'm going to name this one AR element. And again, the ID, I'll call it AR element, and the title AR element. Okay. I can now go ahead and save my project. And if we jump back into Ariza Studio, I'm going to delete the page here. I'm going to jump back into Template Manager and I'm going to right click and re import the project. Oops, I don't think I put my engine into play mode. So let's do this again. Okay, so now that I've re imported, you'll notice that we have this small arrow. Uh, appears to the left of the thumbnail. And this shows us that we have sub elements of this level. So if I open this up, we can see that we have two sub elements here, and this is the AR element and the video wall. So these are our layers. Okay. Now, if I double click on each of these to add them to my playlist, you see inside the AR element, I have a bunch of, uh, I have the video wall and the a AR element, and the same in the uh, video wall. So now we need to separate our controls into each layer now that we've set up our layers. So let's stop the engine and I'm going to go to my control texture over here and inside the layer I'm going to give it the ID of the layer the control should belong to. 
So this is the video wall. So I'll call this video wall. And this is the uh, AR element. Okay. And now I can go ahead and save this, put the engine on air, re import. And now you see that each one of these only has its texture that it needs to control. So let's just put the engine side by side, click on the AR element. So we should see this texture change now. Let's select Boris Johnson. So you can now see only Boris Johnson changes. If we select the video wall, we can see that only McCroon changes and we can duplicate these. So if I save this one out as, and let's change the image to Boris Johnson and save this out as, So you know, when I'm jumping between these pages, you can see that my video wall is changing. So we've now created two separate layers inside our Unreal level that we can control individually. Okay, so that brings us to, this has brought us to the first stage. We've now set up and rigged our level in the correct way to support the multiple levels. Okay, so now let's go ahead and set up our animations for our individual elements. So I'm going to go back and find our layer actor here. And I'm going to select the video wall. And if we look at the properties of this component, we see that we have an in sequence, an out sequence, and a change sequence. So let's go ahead and start with the in sequence. The in sequence will be the animation that plays when our element is not on air and it is taken to air. The out sequence will be triggered when we hit take out from Ariza Studio, and the change sequence will be triggered when our element is in the in state, so it's already been, uh, the in sequence has already been played, and new data is sent to, the, uh, to our level. Then the change sequence will uh, be triggered. So we're gonna go ahead up and set, uh, set these up. Just a small note, if we don't define an out sequence by default, uh, Eriza Studio will play the in sequence in reverse to take the element out. Okay. So for my video wall, um, let's go ahead, oops, sorry, jump back to the layers, video wall, and let's create an in sequence. And again, the naming convention here is important just to keep uh, things organized. You can name them however you want but I like to call it uh, the, let's call it sequence, the name of our element and which state we're animating. So this will be the in animation. So let's grab my video wall actor here, add a track and this will be the in state. So I'm gonna add a keyframe over here and go back to the beginning and set the location of the Z. Let's just bring this down so that it's off screen and add a keyframe as well. So this will be my in animation. The element will be, uh, will animate up from within the table, okay? So I can now go ahead and save this. Uh, let's bring it out, save and put the engine in play mode. And now I'm gonna get the video wall element. I'm gonna select an image. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is hit take in. So you can see the element now comes in with the data that I've selected. And I can hit take out. And you'll see that the element animates out. Let's change the image and hit take in. And you see the element now comes in with the new image that I've selected. Now, if I select a different image while I'm on air and I hit take in, we just get this cut animation, which isn't very nice. We'd rather animate the element before the data changes. So let's go ahead and set up our change animation. I'm going to jump back into Unreal and hit stop. 
Let's bring our element into the in state. I'll go back to my layers actor, select the layer, control layer video wall, and turn on the change sequence. Let's create a new level sequence. Again, sequence, video wall, and we'll name this change. Let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, want the change. Okay. Let's select our actor and drag it into our uh, level sequence. And uh, I'm just going to do a very simple animation here. Uh, when the data changes, I want our element to animate off screen and then come back in uh, with the new data. We'll do something a little bit more fancy with our AR element. Okay. So this will be my start position. I'm going to add a keyframe here, another keyframe over here. And in the middle, I want to animate my element off screen. So something like that and add a keyframe. Okay. So there's with the change animation, there's one more step that we need to do. And I'm going to go ahead and add an event track and a trigger. And at the point in time in my sequence where the element is not visible to the viewers, I'm going to add a keyframe to the event track and double click on that keyframe to edit it. And I'm going to drag out a node here and look for uh, update layer. And you see we have a resource control update layer. And this is going to tell uh, the system that at this point in time, we want to change the data. Okay. So I'm going to be controlling the video wall layer, compile, save, and we can close the blueprint editor. And that's it. We're ready to go. So let's leave the element here and save, put our engine in play mode, and let's test this out. So let's start with an uh, image of Macroon. Let's take the element in. Our element animates in. Okay, if we now change the, uh, the image without clicking take out, I'm just going to hit take in again. The element animates out, changes the data, animates in with the new data that we've sent. Okay, and we can hit take out just to take the element off air. Okay, so that's how simple it is to set up different animations for each layer. Let's go ahead and do something similar for the um, our AR element over here. So I'm just going to add a text as well. So we have something a little bit more interesting. Let's move this up and let's rotate it slightly. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a control text. give it an ID. And the layer, it's going to be part of my AR element. And that's good. So now I'm going to go to my layers uh, again and select the AR element, create a new level sequence for the in, name it uh, sequence. AR element in and let's drag our text into here and let's grab our AR wall as well. I want to grab the rotation. Okay, so the animation that we're going to do here for the in, um, let's do something nice. Let's scale this. That's how my AI element will animate in, and let's animate the text in as well. It doesn't have to be a transform. You can animate anything that you want inside here, but usually uh, we animate something from not being visible to being visible. And there's our text animating it. Okay. Uh, and for the change animation, we can go ahead and set this up as well. Uh, I'm going to go to layers. AR element, turn on the change sequence, create a new level sequence, sequence. Okay. Let's 
go ahead and edit this one and let's grab our wall and our text. Actually, I'm going to leave it. I'm only going to animate the wall for our change animation because the, our AR wall is going to hide the text while it's updating. So let's add a transform here and in the rotation. So let's just add a keyframe over here. It's important that the first keyframe and the last keyframe are the same so that it animates, it completes animation back to the same point. So let's add keyframes here and here and in the middle. I'm going to rotate our object. To something like that so the text is invisible to the viewer anymore and at this point in time I'm going to update our content so I'm going to add the event drag out the node update layer and tell it which layer we want to update so this is the ID of my layer compile and save And we're good to go. So let's save, play, go back into studio. I now need to re-import because I added a control object there for the text. So let's just re-import our graphics. And if I now select AR element, you see we have the image and we have the text. So let me just take everything out. Okay. So let's select a headshot over here and Boris. Now when I hit take in, yeah, so there we go, we have the text animating correctly. And if I now change the content here, so let's change the name of the image. Okay, so we now have two elements. Uh, well, we have two elements and different pages inside our playlist that we can animate uh, individually from each other. Let's say our element, let's get the video wall. And we've set up the animations for each of them. So thank you for watching. Uh, in the next video, we'll show you how we can set up uh, layers and use blueprints to control uh, the logic for the animations.